man with blood group AB and then a lady who is blood who is a heterozygous for blood group B uh, plan to have children. Yes, they plan to have children. How many alleles control blood groups? You see this booklet for for the distinction material. I've already addressed these questions several times. Ne? Different blood groups result in multiple alleles. Blood group, uh, there are three alleles, alternative form of a gene. Ne? Yes, three alleles, uh, meaning that occupying the same locus. However, only two alleles can be presented in a single organism. See? So the question, how many alleles? There are three. Allele for A, allele for B, allele for O. So these are the three alleles. So there are three alleles. There are three alleles. Uh, I always tell students that before you go to the paper, you must answer these questions because at least one question will come. How many for blood, for blood group, if the blood group comes? Uh, how many alleles? How many? How uh, many alleles? Yes, we said there are three. That is allele for A, allele for B, and then allele for O. Please, don't modify these alleles. When you say allele O and you put like this, we're going to cross it. Please don't modify it. And don't say allele for A. We will cross it. This is a Roman figure. This is not I. It's a Roman figure. A letter for B, you write like this. We cross. So make sure that you write capital I and then you say A. You write capital I, you say B. You write small I or uh, small I like that. Please don't modify them. Yes. Because if you modify them, you will get uh, zero. You will get what? You will get uh, zero. Hmm. Then uh, we are saying that they are saying how many alleles we are done with those alleles saying that describe how many okay describe the, the bloody dominance that occurs in inheritance of blood group B Uh, blood dominance, we have three types of dominance. We have complete dominance, codominance, and then incomplete. Incomplete, it means that, uh, let me just show you with a booklet so that we don't uh, waste too much time. Uh, incomplete, look, this is, the moment you see a small error, it means that that is the complete dominance. One allele is complete dominant over the other. Then we have what you call uh, codominance, which is A and B. Both alleles, both alleles are shown. And then you have the recessive. Yes. So when you talk about the three types of dominancy, this book list uh, addressed it very well. There are three. Complete dominancy. Yes. Incomplete dominancy. And co-dominancy. Complete dominancy. You, one allele is complete dominant over the other. Meaning that you, you have uh, a capital error and a small error somewhere, somewhere. Incomplete, both letters are dominant, are capital letters. But the difference, even codominance, both letters are dominant. But the, the only difference which is there is that in incomplete dominance, one allele, sorry, here you produce an intermediate. For example, if you, uh, for example, here, this is complete, you see, at least you have one allele which is recessive. Incomplete, when you when you combine the two, yes, like here, when you combine the two, you produce you produce uh, an intermediate. You see, an intermediate color, white and the red, you produce an intermediate color, which is the pink. While in codominance, instead the cross is the same, but here you produce a mixture of the two individuals originally. So now when we come back here to the blood group, they're saying blood group B, what do we say? So it's going to be blood group A, sorry, blood group B, yes. Remember blood group E can be uh, homozygous, dominant, or it can be heterozygous. So because of this small error here, this small error, it shows that that is the uh, uh, 
complete dominancy for blood group B. But blood group AB is codominance. You see? Yes. So here it is uh, incomplete, so is complete dominance. This allele, allele for B, is completely dominant over allele for I. Hence, blood group uh, B, the type of inheritance which occurs there, the type of dominance which is occurring there is the complete dominance. Complete, complete do, dominance. Yes. Use the genetic cross to show uh, the possible genotypes and phenotypes of their children. Okay. From where? A man who is blood group A. So you see, the, you, you're going for the same procedure, and I've showed you how to mark this. You come here and say P1. P1 means uh, parent one. Phenotype. Phenotype. And then you tell us. I told you that you always get this from the from the from the question. It's the same man with blood group AB. So I come here and say blood group AB. Blood group. Yeah, you write it. Blood group AB. And then crossing with the blood group B. Blood group B. Yes. Blood group B. Yes. Uh -huh. Then genotype. Genotype. AB is obvious. There is no issue with that. So you're saying that blood group AB is A. Then B, crossing with, ah, here is the issue, is it, is it homozygous or heterozygous? They have to give you a clue which shows that it is homozygous or heterozygous. We go back to the question. Lady who is it? Heterozygous, you see, they said it, they gave a clue that is heterozygous. So I'm going to come here and I say B, small letter. And then I'm going to say meiosis. Meiosis is going to occur and then I'm going to have A. And then I'm going to have B. Please leave space here. And then here also, it's going to be B and then small letter. And then I always tell you that circle them so that uh, you don't get marata anywhere. Uh -huh. So you're saying that this is the uh, gametes. So after that, you tell us you go to, uh, you go to, uh, you go to uh, crossing. Yes, you can use a peanut square or you can cross direct A and then this is B and then this with this is going to be A, I and then this with this is going to be uh, B, B and then this with this is going to be B, I. So uh, how do you call this? We call this C fertilization. And then how do you call this? We call this C uh, uh, of springs and then how do you call this this is f1 generation so we will come and then start marking i told you f1 p1 f1 we give you a tick that's mahala question mahala uh, mark this is also another mahala mark this is also another mahala mark so out of six at least you have three marks mahala ne? mahala 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 so you see you can't go with the, the, once they bring a genetic cross any genetic cross you have three marks mahala then uh -huh, they give you a tick there, they give you a tick there, they give you a tick there. What is the question? Yeah, uh, genetic cross show the, phi, the phenotype and genotype of their children. So the phenotype, this is the blood group. You have phenotype. Blood group AB, you have AB. Yes, you have uh, A. You have B. And you have this is a B, this is A, and then you have two B, two B, one A B, one A, and then two B. So, and then uh, the genotype are uh, these ones. You can uh, write them again. So that's how we answer questions concerning about blood group. How many? Let me know. These are the questions. Let me know in the comment below. Now, uh, people who are, uh, uh, are on live, ne? How many alleles control blood group? Question one. How many alleles control blood group? Let me know. How many genes control blood group? How many? I want to see the answers. I'm waiting. Ne? I want to see the answers. How many alleles control blood group? How many genes control blood group? Those are two questions I wanted to hear from you. 
how many alleles control blood group how many genes control blood group let's go to the last question as i'm waiting for uh, your answers from uh, your side black 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 leopard frog uh-huh uh, can be spotted uh -huh. okay can be sp okay sharp spotted frog which is a runner and then allowed it to interbreed and then they produce 150 spotted spotted offspring and 50 meaning that the ratio is is three to one obviously if it's three to one remember when when, when you're talking about uh this we we, we are talking about uh, dominant alleles that are dominant and these are recessive so it means that uh, these ones are the ones which are dominant and these ones are the ones which are recessive. So, which do not, uh, they have said it. Spotted frog were allowed to interbreed and they produced 150 spotted. Spotted and 50 offspring without spots, meaning that this is the one which is spotted. Yeah, so uh, frog, yes. Uh huh. They are saying that which genotype is so. This is the one which is uh, dominant. Explain why. Explain why. Explain your answer. Yes, uh, the answer can be explained based on the ratio you obtained. That you you got a uh, three to one ratio, meaning that uh, the the dominant ones are more. Remember when you are crossing them, you have three options. It can either be this, or it can be this then you have that so in most cases these are like that just give me an example becomes three and then this becomes one so if this numbers they say this is 150 this is 50 and then 150 and this is 50 divide by 50 divide by 50 you get three to one that's where i got this ratio from and then they are saying that um a frog that is heterozygous for spotted black was crossed with a frog without spots. Spotted black, spotted. We said the spotted one is the dominant, crossed with the without spots. But they are saying heterozygous. Use D. Uh, hmm. Expect uh, genotype and phenotype of F1 generation. So you see. Uh, the answer is simple the same way we have been doing so basically you do p1 f1 p1 f1 uh -huh. you write the phenotype phenotype you will do it for me uh-huh get the phenotype from here then write the genotype genotype you do it for me where do I get the genotype? They said spotted. Spotted. They said heterozygous. It shows that spotted is. So meaning that if they are saying spotted is going to be heterozygous like that. So if this is like that, and then without spots, we said is recessive. So basically it's always homozygous. Then meiosis is going to occur. Then split them. Then you get the gametes. Then fertilization. After that, then you get the offsprings here. Yes. So you're going to do it for me. Uh, when I asked the people to tell me about, and then I also picked them that this is not a frog, and hey, people are chasing you, you are running away from them. Okay. Yeah, I was just joking. Um, this is a frog, ne? a frog. And how do we differentiate between a frog and a toad? Yes, a frog is a runner. And then a toad is called the buffo. So a frog is, is that one which can jump. You even see it's small in size. It can jump long distance. And then a toad, just the one which hops. Toads that doesn't jump. The one you usually see is they are just toads. Né? Yeah. And then the other question, uh, as I'm winding up, the other question is uh, mm, how many genes control blood group? It's one gene. And which gene is that? Blood group. And then how many alleles? Alleles are three, allele for A, allele for B, and allele for I, for O. 
uh, and then uh, don't forget to write them correctly allele for a allele for b and allele for uh, yes and then um, how many genes is one gene one gene for blood group blood group yes and then uh, how many uh, genotypes genotypes the genotypes are four that is blood group a blood group b blood group a b and blood group o and how many genotypes these are phenotypes and how many genotypes genotypes are six that is blood group a remember blood group a can be homozygous or heterozygous blood group b can be homozygous or can be uh, heterozygous blood group a b is codominant blood group a b and then uh, blood group o which is recessive making them one two three four five six yeah i think uh, that is it uh, the next class is going to be uh, genetic engineering don't forget to subscribe like and share for uh, share for others for our daily new videos uh, there are some people who want to join my private classes uh, as uh, now it is open private classes private classes uh, uh, please find the link in the description below uh, yes uh, join you, you pick you pick join class yes so that uh, you join the class you get uh, you ask questions anytime we will try to answer you uh, but late night we might not answer you but we will answer you immediately when it is morning yes we will help you with this uh, life science and then physical science uh, people were asking me about agriculture agriculture is also coming and also people were asking me about uh, uh, meds meds uh, we have not yet it's, we, 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 we do live classes but we have not yet uh, started the private classes but until the teacher said that okay it's fine they can create space for you so uh, but the live classes are always there here when you talk about the private classes it means that it may be you are in class and then you have a challenge uh, we have sometimes uh, uh, zoom and microsoft classes sometimes we attend from our website yes please uh, don't forget to share to like uh, to for others uh, so they can also benefit it is mcid as usual uh, it has been uh, a wonderful uh, 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 discussion with you. Thank you very much. See you uh, again. God bless you.